many times we're trying to do things only in our own strength, our own intellect, our own ability, that's going to limit us. God can see things that you can't see. He knows the right people who should be in your life. He knows where the danger is, where the dead ends are. God knows how to catapult you into your destiny. You have an advantage. Are you taking time for your daily bread? No, every morning you need to go to God for your daily bread, your daily wisdom, daily direction. Sometimes we rush out of the house. I'm in a hurry. I don't have time today, Joe. I got to get to work. I live by this principle. Never meet with other people before you meet with God. If you'll take time to acknowledge God, say, God, I need you today. Lead me, guide me, keep me on the right path. Not only will your day go better, but God will keep you from making mistakes. When you wake up in the morning, say thank you for grace. Thank you for mercy. Thank you for understanding. Thank you for wisdom. Thank you for parents. Thank you for love. Thank you for kindness. Thank you for humility. Thank you for peace. Thank you for prosperity. Say thank you in advance for what's already yours. True desire in the heart for anything good is God's proof to you sent beforehand to indicate that it's yours already. That itch that you have, whatever it is you want to do, that thing that you want to do to help others and to, to grow and to make money, that desire, that itch, that's God's proof to you sent beforehand already to indicate that it's yours. And anything you want good, you can have. So claim it, work hard to get it. When you get it, reach back, pull someone else up. Each one, teach one. Don't just aspire to make a living, aspire to make a difference. I just became much more aware of time and how, how foolish it is to waste any day that you have. You know, there's something really interesting about time. We all get the same amount in a day. Every day is 24 hours. And some people are very, very fruitful and effective. And some people just waste their time day after day after day. And that's a choice that we make. But there's one thing about time. Once it goes by, you never get it back. So how tragic it is to waste any day of your life. I think we need to live every day like it was our very last one and live it to the absolute fullest that we can live it. What are some of your mornings like? Do you go to bed intending to get up and spend time with God, but then when the alarm goes off, you hit the snooze, then you hit the snooze again, then you hit the snooze again, and then you've laid in bed too long, and so then you get up, of course, now you have no time for anything. You know you should have spent time with God, you didn't do it, and the whole day basically just becomes a nightmare. All I can tell you is if you don't spend time with God, you are going to have one tragic day after another, after another, after another, after another, after another. It's amazing what happens when you give God that first little bit of time. And I believe that you'll, be, you'll, you'll find your time with God so fruitful that then you'll start making ways to get more. Every day, we need to put on a fresh new attitude. You know why? Yesterday's attitude will get old. If you don't start afresh and anew, then you'll bring all the negative from yesterday into today. Every morning when you wake up, you need to say, Father, thank you for this day. Thank you that you woke me up. Thank you that you gave me air to breathe. Thank you that you surrounded me with faith.